welcome back. It's so good to see you. So today we're going to play a game. We have played this game before. It is called Forbidden Words. Um, it says it's the new adult party game. It's not new. I've had this for quite a while, actually. Um, but they can't change the words of the box, right? <laughs> so, uh, before I get started, today is so windy. Like, the wind is just crazy, crazy. And so, like, stuff's blowing around outside. I've got the windows open everywhere except this room. But it's like shaking the doors and stuff. It is crazy. So if you hear that in the background, just ignore it because I can't control the weather. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're going to play this game today. And the rules of the game are I'm going to, I don't know if these are the rules, but you know what I mean. Um, I am trying to make you guess a specific word or thing, something like that. But there are four words on the card that I cannot say. If I say it, I lose and you win. <laughs> Sometimes I say the word though. I don't know. Um, so yeah, let me know how many you get. Because I feel like Sometimes I suck at giving clues. I don't know. But I have just a stack of cards. I'm not going to show them to you until I'm done with my clue giving. Um, but yeah. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So this is a thing. And um, it, it's it's like a game, but also not. Okay. <laughs> um, if you are wanting to communicate with someone from the other side, you typically play this game with another person or a group of people. And on this game, it has like yes or no, and there's a bunch of letters A to Z. And then you put your question out to the universe and wait for an answer. <laughs> It's a Ouija board. <laughs> see, I can't see these, those words. So, okay. Oh, this next, mm, I don't want to say it's a physical thing. It's more of an action, but I absolutely hate it. And I've noticed that this trend has kind of died out, which I'm very happy about. But a lot of people on Instagram or Facebook, mostly girls, like to take photographs of their person. Uh, and they will, like, hold the phone up, look up to the phone, and press their mouth together and a little out. <laughs> and they... The name of this action is based off of a water bird. freaking hate duck face. They're like, what is, what is that? What does the pushing of the lips, I'm not even going to get into it because somebody who's watching might do duck face and I don't want to offend, but
but my gosh, it drives me crazy. Okay. Um, hmm. When you're, I guess I never had this, but I've seen it like on TV and stuff like this. This is, um, it's, um, I can't say any of these words. Okay. When you become a teenager and they have discussions in school about safety with your body and someone else's body and it's very uncomfortable and weird to discuss in school I don't know <laughs> it's sex ed I, I think that you're not allowed to say like educate or class anything like that I never had sex ed like that wasn't a thing when I was in fifth grade they did the like let's bring this TV out and play a video showing you about your changing body right and I I think that my school did it wrong because I feel like they were supposed to separate the boys and the girls and then show them the videos like that but they didn't do that so it was really embarrassing and like they were talking about you know erections and periods and stuff like that and I was just like Ugh. it was so embarrassing especially for a fifth grader right um and in a room with boys like how awkward would that be right it was it was terrible and I was like kind of leaning over and I had I had my hands like like this but like on my on my knees I was just kind of like hunched over and, um, I don't know, that's just how I sat. I don't know why I'm holding this, I already said that. But, this boy who's sitting next to me <laughs> looks over at me sitting with and he was like, Oh, you're probably on your period, right? You got cramps? No, I hadn't even gotten it. That's just how I sat. But he just, well, we just learned about it. And there was a girl in the video who did that, so you definitely are on your period. And you definitely have cramps now. So he said that like out loud to everybody. So then everybody looked at me because they're like, oh my god. <laughs> How awful, right? Oh, school is the worst. <sighs> okay. Moving on. Oh, this should be easy. You are... You probably have your phone watching this watching me on this platform. YouTube. That's funny. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, me and my husband were just talking about this the other night because he had no idea what it was, which is weird because we live in Texas, which is at the bottom of the United States. So there are several states that are at the bottom mm -hmm. it's like Texas, Louisiana Mississippi, Alabama Georgia, Florida and they have a type of cuisine that you eat when you want to feel It can be anything, like sweet potatoes, or I can't say this one thing because it's like, but it's usually very bad things to eat. I uh, can't say that. Um, and they just make you feel good, like you're home. I don't know, man. <laughs> comfort food. The other day, we were eating 
dinner and my husband was like, oh, this is so good. It just makes me feel like I'm home or something, you know? And he's like, wait a minute, is this what they call comfort food? And I was like, yeah, yeah, it's, but like mac and cheese, sweet potatoes, mashed potatoes, I can't think of any other right now, but it's just warm, filling, unhealthy, <laughs> delicious food that's typically like a southern thing, you know? Okay, mm. this one is going to be difficult. Okay, um, I guess technically this would be a chip. Well, this is a thing that is on a chip. But this chip is not like a normal chip. I don't even know exactly what it is. Because um, you know how chips, they're either tortilla or potato, that kind of thing. This is like a stick. A stick like shape thing, but it's all bumpy and weird. <laughs> I don't know. But you eat it out of a bag and then there is a coating on your hand and it's gross. <laughs> Cheeto dust? What the heck is a Cheeto? Like, I have no idea. I've never even, I don't really like Cheetos. Um, but like, what is a Cheeto? I don't know. Okay. Uh, when you are not feeling well, and you basically want to put yourself into a coma and just be knocked out so that you can get better. Uh, you take this liquid substance and then you get very tired and you go to bed. <laughs> NyQuil. <laughs> okay. you give birth and you have a tiny child um, and it gets hungry you have to give it food from your body but if your body is too sore <laughs> or you don't want to do that, there is a mechanical device that you place on your body to get that food out. What is the mechanical device? to the dentist and they told her she may need to get some devices put in her mouth when she is a little older to straighten her mouth up. They said she might need to get braces. She's too young to tell right now. It's just because her front teeth, they like grew out like, like this, but they're slowly straightening out. So she may or may not, it just depends. Okay, this is an actor who I believe started out on SNL 
No, he did start out on SNL. And who's the guy who's in charge of SNL? I can't think of his name. But he fired this actor. And then this actor was like, how dare you fire me? I'm going to become the biggest comedic actor of all time. And, I mean, he pretty much did. He's like, I don't, I don't know if he's a billionaire, but he's definitely a millionaire. He's very funny. He hasn't been in a lot of comedies lately, but he also came up with, like, a bunch of s CDs and stuff like that, but they're like, he's a really good singer and stuff. Um, he was in, mm, Yeah, I can't say that. Um, oh my god, I'm totally messing this all up. <laughs> he was in a movie. I can't say the name of the actor. But it's a movie that he was in. And he was in this movie where he uh, was really stupid. We're talking about the movie, not the actor. Sorry. Um, but he was in this movie... I think he was in Uncut Gems, and, uh, I'm trying to think of other movies that he's been in, um, Waterboy, uh, Mr. Deeds, so you know who we're talking about. Okay, the first movie that he came out with, he was real stupid, and he had to go get his education all over again. And there's this one scene where he's in a bath. I just, I'll never forget that. He's in a bath and like there's this, his dad's like real rich or something. So there's like this swan where the water comes out and he just, like it's such a stupid movie. It could never exist now. Like it wouldn't work, but like, you know, at that time it did. But he was just like, quit looking at me, swan. <laughs> I'll never forget that. But it's Billy Madison. I'm sorry, I totally messed this one up. When I saw this name, I just assumed I was trying to get you to say who this guy was. Can you believe that he got fired off of Saturday Night Live? And he was super pissed about it. And so he was like, you know what, screw you. I'm gonna be awesome, and you're gonna be sorry. Okay. Mm. This is a vehicle. I say this because I don't consider it a vehicle, but it, it gets you to where you, you want to go. Uh, I consider them very dangerous. Um, hmm. Because it, there are two wheels. Some of them have three wheels, which I think is kind of cool. Um, but they're considered like, wow, you're so cool. You have one of those. I don't think those are cool at all. Um, because you have to wear, like, a special hat to ride this vehicle. And there are no... Oh, I just said a word, but there's no seatbelts and stuff like that. I mean, it's a, it's a motorcycle. I said ride. Sorry. But yeah, I don't think motorcycles are cool at all. I just feel like they're so dangerous. And, like, my... I have this memory of like, because my dad used to have a motorcycle, like when I was a little kid, and uh, he used to put me like on his motorcycle and we would like ride to the corner store or something like that, but I feel like that was super unsafe. He got a motorcycle when I was in college, I think as well. I think he sold it though, I don't think he has it anymore. And then my aunt she had a motorcycle. She was part of, like, this motorcycle... It's not a motorcycle gang. <laughs> but, like, she had a motorcycle, and she was, like, part of this... It was, like, a charity kind of motorcycle group. And they would, like... I don't know what they would do. Maybe, like, toy drives and stuff like that. I, I don't know. But she actually met her husband through the motorcycle club thing. Um... But she was at my grandma's house, 
this was a long time ago, but she was driving her motorcycle at my grandma's house and she was just going for a ride, you know, and there was a turn and she turned and I think there was like a rock on the ground or something that she didn't see and she got into an accident. The motorcycle fell on top of her. She broke her hip and her knee and I guess she just had to like wait until somebody drove by to come get because she couldn't lift the motorcycle off her. It was too heavy. Motorcycles are crazy. Not cool at all. Okay. Uh, let's see. This is something that you eat. It is the greatest invention ever. I survived on this type of food. Like, <laughs> my whole life. <laughs> I've actually made it on the channel. It was in my pregnancy craving video. Um... But it's, it consists of two slices of bread, and then you put a fruit spread on one side, and a nut spread on the other side. And then you put them together, and they're delicious. PB and J. I love peanut butter and jelly. It's the best. Now I want peanut butter and jelly. Thanks a lot, card. <laughs> okay, um... This is... Okay. It's... It... If you were to take off all of your clothes, you would be... I don't know. I mean, that, that's all I got. Nude. <laughs> okay. Um... You are pregnant, and let's say you want to have a party. They do these types of parties all the time, and in these parties, they might like, some of them are extravagant, but like originally when they first started, it was like you cut the cake and the cake would either be pink or blue. And that would be revealing the blank of the baby. Gender. Have you seen some of the gender reveal parties now? It's like if you have like millions of dollars, you're just like... <sighs> gender reveal parties, I don't know. I never had those because I was just like, no, I got it. First of all, I have to know immediately. There's no way I could wait. My sister-in-law, she she had a gender reveal party. And um, it's, it's kind of like a... I don't want to say it's a baby shower. Because you also have a baby shower. It's like the baby shower is for like the women. But the gender reveal party is for women and men. It's just like another party. But she didn't do anything extravagant. She just had her friend... Um, who had like this cake company make a cake and then put whatever it was on the inside and then when they cut it open you would see the color of the cake that is reasonable to me um okay hmm this is a I, I don't want to say it's a person it's a mm, can't say that uh, a party and it is not uh, an independent or a democrat it's the other one <laughs> republican <laughs> okay um, this one is the name of a little girl and the youngest Kardashian, even though she's not a Kardashian, who is the... She has this makeup like empire. Um, she was pregnant and she hid it from everyone. Um, 
or she tried to, it kind of, it got leaked, you know, but this is what she named her daughter. Stormy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, this is a trend that kids like I don't know, probably like 13 and below started doing um, <laughs> uh, when things were cool or epic they would put their face on their forearm and then their other arm and point it towards the sky. <laughs> dab. Oh my god, my kids used to dab all the time. It's less common now. Although my son still does it. Sometimes. When like, he's playing Fortnite and he, he wins, you know? He'll just jump up and down and like scream and then just dab. But... <laughs> okay. Uh, Let's see, this is a superhero, um, and he wears a red outfit that is hard, and the guy inside the outfit is really smart and really rich and like, He's part of a team of superheroes. Iron Man. Right? He's the one in the red suit. It's, I think so. Okay. Ugh. This is a... Something you watch on TV. It's not a movie, but... You know... Not a movie, not a commercial. Um, and they put a, I don't, I've never actually seen it. I would say that they put a bunch of wealthy women in a house together, but I don't think that, I think it's just cameras that follow a bunch of wealthy mm, women spouses. Uh, and they often get into ridiculous fights about stupid stuff. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't watch this. But Real Housewives, I feel like Real Housewives, like they've got Real Housewives of Atlanta and New York and I don't know. I really don't know. But I feel like they put a bunch of wives who are rich Maybe not in a house together, but they just follow them around and, like, start up drama? I don't know. I don't watch reality TV because it's all fake anyway, you know? If I want to watch something fake, I'll just watch another show. <laughs> um, let's see. Ew. This is something super gross. Um, my husband just discovered that he liked this, and I'm like, eh, I have to buy it now, and it's just disgusting. Um. But when you have, like, I guess, uh, I can't say that, um, let's say you want to eat healthy, and you get some lettuce, and you put it in a bowl, and you put all kinds of toppings on it, like you would when you're having this lettuce in a bowl, uh, but there is a sauce that you can put on top that is white and sometimes it does not um, have a good scent and sometimes it's chunky <laughs> blue cheese disgusting I mm -mm, I can't no 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 but my husband likes it so whatever okay this is automatic panic mode for me, and there's no reason for it to be panic mode, but this is. This is an event that happens 
every year um, when the government is like, I know that we gave you money and we have all of the correct paperwork, but we need to put you through some stress and you tell us that we did our job correctly. Um, and then if you do it right, you may get some money back. <laughs> tax season. I freaking hate tax season. I've never been audited or anything like that, but I'm so OCD and such a perfectionist, and I just panic. I panic when it is tax time because it's like, why? You have all this information. You have it all. But I have to double check your business. Like, ugh, taxes are stupid. Like, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> okay. This next thing is, uh, it's something that's been around probably since like the 70s or whatever, but when people were bored, they used to get these boxes out and take a board out and lay it on a table and then everybody would play on this board. Um, but this is a very famous board thing to play um, because now they come with all the, like you can even like customize it to whatever you want. They even have it on like PlayStation, Google Play, Xbox, all that stuff. You can get it digitally or in board form. Um, but like it's a square and you try and buy hotels and stuff and then if you do if you get a certain card or whatever they can send you to prison oh. <laughs> monopoly I don't know <laughs> anyway okay I'm just gonna leave it there I really like this game and I hope you do too I really hope that you enjoyed that Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.